Hey, how's it going, Yankees fans? Like always, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola como estas? Hey, today looks pretty bad. It's raining right now. Don't know if it's going to rain for the game at 1 o'clock, but it looks like it's going to. Let's see the forecast. Mm, looks like it's going to clear out by then. But, Yankees fans, let's talk about what's not sunny. Let's talk about Sunny Gray. If you guys have been subscribed to this channel for quite some time now, you would know I was really one of the first guys out there to say, hey, Sonny Gray is not going to be the picture the Yankees traded for. I even wrote articles about obtaining Sonny Gray before the Yankees got him. I was a Justin Verlander guy. I got bashed repeatedly. You know, the typical, oh, you're crazy. Sonny Gray's the man. But no, Sonny Gray is 5'10". He's reaching 30 years old, and Sonny Gray is going to be Sonny Gray. The hype machine was out there when the trade talks about Sonny Gray were happening. We saw all these newspapers hyping Sonny Gray up, all these news covers. Oh, it's going to be a sunny day in the Bronx. Uh, Sonny Gray is the second coming of Christ. But it was all hype. I mean, if they really did their homework, they would have saw that Sonny Gray really was not an ace and really was just an ace for what a year and a half or whatever with Oakland and he has never been the same since I guess the league caught up with him when you're throwing a whole bunch of off-speed pitches outside of the strike zone I mean really there's not much you can improve on and if you improve it's pitching towards the strike zone and he's just getting lit up I'm pretty sure Sonny Gray's a great guy I was laying off of him for a bit. I even told you guys, I said, hey, I'm going to lay off Sonny Gray for a bit. Let him have another bad start. So Sonny Gray had another bad start. He pitched great before his uh, last start. But the inconsistency is not going to help the Yankees, let's say, in a playoff situation. Let's say the Red Sox continue to win. It's not going to help them stay in the race for first place with Boston. So... We have to make up our minds. We have seen the inconsistency of Sonny Gray since the Yankees traded for him. Okay? It's, in my opinion, it's never going to change, even if you demote him to AAA. I don't think it's ever going to change. Sonny Gray is a outside of the zone pitcher. The league has caught up to him. Maybe his stuff will work better in the National League facing the number nine hitter, which is really the pitcher. So here's an interesting fact about Sonny Gray. Sonny Gray is the first starting pitcher in Yankees history within the team's first 50 games of the season to have five outings of 4.2 innings pitched or less in his first 10 starts of the year. Ray Caldwell had a similar fate in 1912. However, the team was still the NY Highlanders. So there's a little history lesson of Sonny Gray and how bad he's been for the New York Yankees. Sonny Gray is making history for the Yankees, not in a positive way, but a negative way. So here, let's begin. The Yankees need to trade for two pitchers. Guys, like I said, if you've been subscribed to this channel... If you've been a visitor of mynews.com, you know that I'm not jumping the bandwagon. The Yankees need to trade for two starting pitchers. They need to convince teams to take Sonny Gray for the simple fact that Sonny Gray has one more year left until he hits free agency. I'll make a trade with the Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks are going nowhere. Goldschmidt is having a horrible year. I mean, really, they're not going to win the NL West or barely make the playoffs as a wild court team. There's too many teams in contention. So if I were the Yankees, I'd trade for Corbin, a package for Sonny Gray, convince the Diamondbacks, hey, look, you have a whole bunch of free agents hitting the market. Here's Sonny Gray. He's under control for one more year. Do whatever you want with Sonny Gray, in my opinion. He'll probably turn it around in the National League. Then, I know I know Corbin just has to be that pitcher. The Yankees just sacrifice prospects 
for for rental at this point because the Yankee starting rotation is just they're not going to maintain a constant battle all season long with the Boston Red Sox. The Boston Red Sox are another 100 win team. So then Patrick Corbin, then you make a trade for let's say Cole Hamels or a Michael Fulmer. So the Yankees, in my opinion, have to make some sacrifices when it comes to their rotation. They need to subtract two guys from that rotation. So Yankee fans, that is my opinion. Like always, leave your comments in the comment section below. Which pitchers would you want the Yankees to trade for? One, two, in my opinion, they need two starting pitchers at this point. Their rotation is just not consistent. Like I said, it's not. World Series caliber. They need to upgrade their starting rotation and they need to trade away some of their pieces in the farm and on the major league level. So, like always, Yankees fans, this has been Field from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.